Hey guys, welcome back to Fish on Angling. So today we're back on the beach and we're at a new mark today. We're down Bournemouth Way and we're going to try out a new spot. Um, it's what, just the start of February, so it's still dogfish and whiting really, isn't it? But we're going to try and pull out a ray or maybe a bass here. Um, and then the usual on top of that. And then I do have some ragworms. I'm going to try for some place as well, but only on like a third rod. I'm not going to take that too seriously. But yeah, we're going to try a new mark out. I've got all sorts of bait. I think I've got squid, ragworm, black lug, sprat and sand eel. So I've got a whole choice of baits, three rods, three different rigs. So hopefully we'll pull out a nice mixed bag today. But yeah, we just got to get past those white and dogfish, haven't we? So yeah, I just wanted to film this intro before it gets dark, which is any time now, really. Um, I'll probably just get a rod out quickly and then I can talk you through all the baits I'm going to use for the day and rigs and stuff. And then I'll update you through the night. But anyway, I'm going to go and get ready, guys, and I'll catch you in a bit. Glorious day today, but this is you know start of February, it feels like it's a summer's evening. But I'm gonna get one rod in very quickly and I'll probably just put a free hook flapper out. Put some ragworm on it just for now. Um just to get rod out nice and quick and then I can cut some baits up, talk to the camera, um sort all rigs out, you know, all that kind of stuff, and I'll do it and just take my time a little bit, but I really we we'll get a bait in the water as quick as possible, really. It's been a frustrating... It's not been a bad month fishing, still had some rays and whatnot, but the last couple of trips out in the sieve have been frustrating. We've only been dogfish and a couple of whiting. So, I've come to the beach today to hopefully just try and catch something different, like I said earlier. I mean, a bass would be nice. decent sized bass would be a, a real treat. But rays as well you know so i've made a load of rigs up so i've made some panel rigs up with good hooks on which i'm going to put out far and then i've made some ray specific rigs up with some small hooks on them don't need big baits or big hooks down here for rays so they're kind of i'll show you them in a bit but they're running ledger rigs with two over hooks and then i've just got that free hook flapper which i always like to put out on the third rod and that's going to be like an armed mate to throw really just literally into the water and then we're going to rotate the baits through that one yeah just low tide now I think about half an hour ago so I'm going to fish it all the way up, up which is only to about half eight tonight and then I'll probably fish it three or four hours back down as well so really there's fish about today we should catch them let's hope they're hungry right I'm going to carry on getting set up I'm going to get a rod in and then I'll speak to you when I'm starting to cut the baits up a bit more Guys, right, just going to show you quickly then, very quick, five ounce weight today and a three hook flapper with size one hooks. And I always put a worm, well, when I have worm, I don't always bring worm. But when I have worm, I'll always put one on the bottom hook. And then I'd middle hook normally be a strip of squid and top hook's normally a squid head. That's my normal go-to. I might put two worms on the bottom, a squid on the top today. Straggly this worm. I'm going to go two bottom hooks with ragworm, it's now biting me. And then the top hook, I've got some squid heads actually, I just bought on their own. I've got normal squid as well, but for this I'm just going to get a squid head and feed it straight onto the top hook, and then we're going to go straight out with this. There you go, just a squid head straight through the top hook. Let's get this out.
So I've actually only got one rod out, but I'm just going to quickly show you all the gear I'm using and before it gets dark, it's a lot harder to show you then. So, as usual, I'm using my pair of Tronics Pro Banzai BZ6s. I've got a pair of them now. And then I've got a pair of Shimano Ultegra 1400 XSC reels. Lovely bits of kit there. That's my two main rods. And we'll go over to my third rod, which would just be my bass rod, really, with a free hook flapper on there. Um, so this is a Tronics Pro Banzai BZ5. And I've actually got a Tronics Pro Banzai reel there, but that was given to me for free, so I'm still kind of trying it out. But it's not too bad. Not as nice as the Shimano's, obviously. So right, that's all three rods set up, but only one rod out still. So we'll keep an eye on that, but not proper eye, because I'm actually going to get my next two baits set up, really. Once so I show you what we've got today, we've got the pan of ragworm, which is in there. We've also got a small amount of sand eel, um, some sprat, bag of squid heads, good amount of squid. We've got some mango black lug. I'm going to try and get rid of somehow because they've been in my freezer and defrosted a few times. But I'd, yeah, not sure what we're going to do with those ones just yet. I might, maybe I'll put a whole squid on and just tip the end with some black lug just to get rid of it that way. So we're going to make some ray baits up today, which I haven't decided which ones to go for. Maybe, I think we'll go for sprat and squid today. So let's make a couple of those up. We might make four up straight away. Big old sprat today. Not too big for me really, but we'll cut it down to size. Take the heads off, we don't need those yet. Bag of squid heads. So really, these are quite, quite big sprat and squid. I wouldn't normally go this big, but I'm just gonna cut the ends off maybe. And I'll make the, basically I've cut a lump of squid, hopefully you can see it okay. Um, I've certainly shown you guys enough in these videos already, so feel free to fast forward it. But if I catch some racer down, I'm sure you'll come back and <laughs> check him again. So yeah, I've just half the squid that I've cut up, and I'm just going to basically match the sprat by taking the head off, a bit of the tail. And we don't need that much sprat, so I'm actually going to cut down them lengthways as well in half. But this might get messy wrapping, so we'll see. Actually, they're quite big chunky, so they're not going to be as neat as normal, but they should do the job. My bait's normally frozen when I get here, so it's normally a lot easier. This is very slimy, very gloopy. Basically, that is it. It's a bit, a bit manky, but perfect for what we need it for. So today I've actually made all my own rigs, all my own pulley panel rigs, my running ledges, and my three-hook flappers. But I'm going to show you the ray rig quickly, because it's probably the next bait I'm going to get out, and then I'm going to wrap up the rest of my. My um my wraps are pre-cut. So for the ray rig I always use, I had quite a lot of success with. It's a running ledger. Um really can't tell you how long I've done it. I've did no specific length. Probably 120 centimetres on the hook snood. But on the end, this is the important bit, we've just got a 2-0 hook. And um, we definitely don't need any bigger than that for these rays. Caught a double figure ray on these. And then on the end of, oh, sorry, the next hook up, the panel is a 2-0 circle hook. So you've got 2 normal hook there, 2 circle there. 
Actually, let's get this bait out and then we can wrap the rest up. wrap this up so I'm actually going to do a separate baiting video soon I'm going to do it at home in the kitchen so it's a bit easier for you guys to hear and see and I'm going to show you all the baits I use and how I wrap them and how I put them on the hook really I'm by no means an expert but I know what works for me this is definitely one of them just it up so there you go hook wrapped inside and then we're just going to get the panel hook New hooks are very, very sharp. Just gonna wrap the like you normally do, wrap the line around it a few times, and then nick it in the end. Pull that tight. Job done. So you got that hook on the top, the bottom. So you got that hook down the end, and then the circle hook just nicked in the top. And that is perfect. We're gonna get that out now, I think. So that's two baits out now. So I'm a little bit happier. I can relax a little bit and start setting up for the night really, it's getting dark now. Get all my lights on. And then let's get the rest of these baits wrapped. Right, so that's my lovely other three wraps all ready for the rays. So now it's time for the third rod, but I've got to swap the rigs around because I've got my main rod out with a free hook flapper, so I need to put that on the third rod. But what I'm going to go for this one, I think I'm going to go for a whole squid for the night, but I might just tip it off with some black lug here and there, just to use that up. Really. So I made myself some clip down pulley panel rigs here. Well, hopefully they're clipped down, I've never made these before. So, And on here I've got, let me just double check which ones I've got out. So yeah, it's just your standard pulley panel rig with clip down lead grip. And for hooks on here, I've got Frio in the Casaman wide mouth hooks and a Frio circle hook for the top panel bit. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap the squid to try and get some distance on it. So to do this, I'm gonna use my bait mate. So I'm gonna wrap straight onto the hook with this. A nice big sausage with it. The reason I'm wrapping the squid rather than just throwing it straight out is just make the bait more aerodynamic really. I'm especially I'm not very good caster <laughs> and if any help I can get I will. So you just make it nice and small. Nice thin sausage. Quite a big bait though so it's one of those things if you catch on this it's normally a good fish but or very greedy dogfish. Run that bait all the way up the line length to the top. Tie it up there, I think. Slide it up. off. I'm gonna bring the panel hook down. Hopefully, you can see all this, guys. It's getting a bit dark here. You should be able to see the light on. Just nick the top. A little bit tight. And that's it really. And I'm just gonna put some old manky black lug on this tip. I'm, it won't stay on for long. Right guys, just an update, it's been super quiet tonight, not a single bite. 
Um, I pulled baits and changed them, what, about three times in each rod now? And the bait's still there. It's really bizarre. Quietest trip I've had in a long, long time, I think. I'm just going to bring all the rods in. It's just about to hit high tide in about 10 minutes. And I'm just going to swap them around. See, at my moment, sorry, at the moment, three hook flappers out that way. I've got my big bait out that way. My ray bait straight down the middle. So I'm just going to swap them. So I'm going to have my ray bait on the left. Three hook flap on the right and the big bait down the middle. But I don't think it's going to do anything, to be honest. Um, but Shane and David down the beach, they've been catching. Um, they've had some place in a flounder, I believe. So there are fish about, but we're just not catching them. So, yeah, let's get on with that bait change. And then, I mean, it's what, coming up half eight? I'll fish for another four hours anyway, but we're going to go over high, high tide and halfway down, which isn't what I'd normally fish. And there's small tides as well, but, you know, that's all the excuses out of the way, so. Right, going to get these baits changed and back out. There we go, guys. This has been out for about 40 minutes. Whole squid head, not nibbled. And worms still on the hooks as well. Bizarre. Not even the crabs are having a go, which is quite rare. So would you believe it, guys? I've just I've just packed my whole tent, everything right up, put it all on my trolley, and I'm gonna move up a groin. And the groins are big here, so it's quite far to go. And I've just come to get my rods, and I've got bites on two of them. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give it 10 minutes, pull them in, and if there's fish on there, I might unpack all my stuff and stay. Because the reason I was, I wouldn't normally move, but where they're catching fish, what, three goings down, and I haven't had a, even a single bite all night, I thought, well, you know, it's not working here, is it? So I was going to move, but, I don't know. We'll see how these progress and we'll make a decision. If there's fish on the end, I might have to stay. But yeah, typical. <laughs> so nothing exciting, but you know, after thinking I was going home with a blank today, Waiting, quite a small one. So I'm still not sure if I'm going to stay in this spot or not. I'm going to see what's on the other rod and make a decision then. But I'm certainly not staying here just for waiting. So might just move up one, or I might might stay back here. I'm not sure. So guys, we're another hour in and still no more bites. So we've moved location now and I've put out a squid and scrap on one rod, a squid, a whole squid wrapped on another rod and then we've got a three hook flapper. Now I did put worm out with a squid head on the top hook and the squid head's actually been taken. So I pulled it in and just put squid on all three hooks and we're just gonna try that now. But yeah, it's certainly a slow night tonight but we're gonna keep plugging away for a couple more hours, yeah and hopefully pull in a fish. So guys, we're another hour in and still no more bites. So we've moved location now and I've put out a squid and sprat on one rod, a squid, a whole squid wrapped on another rod and then we've got a three hook flapper. Now I did put worm out with a squid head on the top hook and the squid head's actually been taken so I pulled it in and just put squid on all three hooks and we're just going to try that now. But yeah, it's certainly a slow night tonight but we're going to keep plugging away for a couple more hours yet yeah, and hopefully pull in a fish. So right guys, that's me all done. Um, a shocker really, one whiting in the whole night with all the different baits I tried, just wasn't to be. It's gone, it's probably nearly one o'clock now, I'm all packed down, I'm ready to go home really, I've just had enough. But um, I wouldn't normally put this kind of video out. Normally the worst sessions, I don't bother. It just doesn't seem like it's worth doing the editing. But 
I think it's important to show that not every session is a good one, really. I mean, you get a lot of YouTubers out there that they put all their good sessions up. Um, they never put any of their bad sessions up, and it just looks like they go out and they hit their targets every single time they go out fishing. But I know some of these guys, and I know some of them have hit that mark three or four times in the same week just to get their one fish that they're targeting. But obviously, um, you guys don't see that side of things. So, yeah, it doesn't always go to plan. I mean, I had... It's the right conditions today. It's a beach that catches fish. Um, my mate's two groins up for catching fish. And I've used ragworm, I've used black lug, squid, um, sprat, sand eel. And just nothing worked tonight, it just wasn't to be. So, you know, these sessions, they happen to all of us, really. Um, anyone that's saying they don't blank and they don't go through these sessions, they're lying in my eyes. Um, I'm generally, I'm pretty successful on the beach, you know. I, I haven't actually blanked for probably 10 months in like any form of fishing, really. Um, but you know, nights like tonight, one small whiting is pretty much there, isn't it? So, yeah, it's just one of those things. You just got to put the time in. And um, you know, one thing I'll tell you is when I started out, this would have been a good session for me, catching one fish. You know, and you'll go out and every session will be a blank to start with. And then you'll occasionally you'll pick up that odd fish. And then more and more as you go, more as you practice, you'll have a, a couple of fish and that'll make a good session, you know? Until eventually, hopefully, you'll have a pretty successful trip most times you go out, providing you do your homework in the area and the baits and you, you know, put in the hard work there. But yeah, even with all that, sometimes we have these sessions, don't we? So I just thought it's important to put this video out and just show you that not every session's a great one. But anyway, I'm rambling on a little bit. Um, I'm done for now, I'm gonna get get in the car and get home. Um, I'm not out for a week or two now, but I should think the next session will be another sub session, hopefully. Um, failing that, probably another beach session, but I might go back to my old mark where I'm a little bit, you know, more successful. But who knows, I might come back here. This is a new mark tonight, and just because I've had a poor night, you know, you can't judge it on one night, can you? So, yeah. Um, gonna pack the stuff in the car and get home. So thanks for watching guys, anyway, um, I hope you made this far in this video, I know it's not an exciting one, but, um, you know, you win some, you lose some. So, yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video guys. Cheers!